In this recording, we look at how to work out trigonometric integrals in the case where the integrand is a power of sec x multiplied by an odd power of tan x. That is, this will work if the integrand is any power of sec x multiplied by a power of tan x that is odd. And the process here is easiest to illustrate if we look at it in relation to a specific example. In this case, finding the integral of sec cubed x times tan to the power of 5x. So, as you can see, as required, tan x is indeed raised to an odd power here. And the first step for working out such an integral is to break off a factor sec x times tan x. When we do that, we would be left with sec squared x tan to the 4x and I'm then going to write that sec x tan x that we've broken off at the end of that expression. And we're still working out the integral of all of this with respect to x. Now at the next step, we're going to leave this sec x tan x factor that we've broken off alone for the minute and focus on any other tan x term remaining, which is this one here. And we're going to use the identity sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x to replace this expression here, tan to the 4x in this case, with something in terms of sec x. How will that work in this case? Well, clearly we need to rearrange this identity first to make tan x, or tan squared x in fact, the subject. Rearranging that, we find in fact that tan squared x is equal to sec squared x minus 1. But here we have tan to the 4x. How do we use this identity to replace tan to the 4x in terms of sec squared x? Well, tan to the 4x is just tan squared x squared. Therefore, similarly, it must just be sec squared x minus 1 squared. Therefore, our integral of the form sec squared x tan to the 4x sec x tan x dx can be rewritten as sec squared x and now we're going to replace tan to the 4x with this here. So with sec squared x minus 1 squared times sec x tan x dx. And at this stage you might be thinking, hang on a minute. We're trying to make this expression simpler and it just seems to be getting more and more complicated. So what do we do next? So what do we have here? Well, we have relatively complicated expression involving powers of sec squared x and that's then multiplied by this sec x tan x. What we actually can do is integration by substitution because if we let u be equal to sec x that would allow us to replace this first part with powers of u. And then what is the derivative of sec x? Well, the derivative of sec x is actually sec x times tan x. That's convenient because that now means du is sec x tan x dx. Looks like we're just going to be able to replace everything here using this substitution. In particular, the integral of sec squared x sec squared x minus 1 squared sec x tan x dx. This first bit, sec squared x, that's just u squared. This next bit, sec squared x minus 1, all squared. That's just u squared minus 1 squared. And this last bit, this sec x tan x dx, that is just du. We now have an expression that looks a lot more manageable to integrate. Let's next expand out the brackets. So u squared times, now u squared minus 1 squared, that part is going to be u to the 4 minus 2u squared plus 1. Now we can multiply all these terms through 
by the u squared, which gives u to the power of 6 minus 2u to the 4 plus u squared. We're integrating that with respect to u. And now we're ready to work out that integral. It's just u to the 7 divided by 7 minus 2u to the 5 divided by 5 plus u cubed divided by 3 plus c. And what was u? u was just sec x. So that's going to be sec to the 7x on 7 minus 2 sec to the 5x on 5 plus sec cubed x on 3 plus c, which was in fact what we were initially trying to work out. This is in fact the integral of sec cubed x tan to the 5x with respect to x. So let's just briefly recap the process we used. We started off by breaking off a factor sec x tan x. We then replaced everything else with sec x by using the identity sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x. This then gave us an expression which was in terms of powers of sec x and then had this sec x tan x on the end which allowed us to use substitution u equals sec x in order to determine the value of our integral. So this technique, just reiterating this is useful when you are looking at integrals where the integrand is an odd power of tan x multiplied by some power of sec x. Music